Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video which is my 37 week pregnancy update. So that means I am now officially term. So if this baby comes along, I am actually prepared for it. Um, it's taken me a while to get here but I am now prepared for the baby. Now if you remember in my last video I said that we had been putting the baby's bed up and can you see it? There it is! It's right there. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's right there. This is actually George's old bed. I just bought a new mattress for the baby so it's perfect condition. It's actually lasted really really well. It's a snooze pod 4 if you're interested. They have been brilliant. I cannot complain about the snooze pod at all. So this is baby's bed right next to my bed at the moment and in here is my breastfeeding pillow which I do actually need to put the cover on and this is the mattress we're talking about. That is a brand new mattress. They do say not to use the same mattress twice and also this is the waterproof cover from Snooze. I just washed it. It's the one George had on when he was laying here and a sheet is all ready to go so I just need to put the baby in there. Right, 37 weeks. That means I have got a great big belly which I have. There it is. There's Bump. Still don't know what bump is, not going to find out now till it's born. Obviously, what's the point in finding out now? I've got three weeks to go. In fact, I don't have three weeks to go. This baby needs to be born by week 40 because of my age, because I'm, you know, geriatric mother now. And because I've already had two previous caesareans. Because I'm trying to aim for a VBAC, uh, they don't particularly want me to go over 40 weeks because issues can arise. One of the horrible ones is that the scar can start to open slightly so I really want to do everything to avoid that. Hopefully this baby will come along before the 40th week. I am actually trying now to do things to try and encourage my body to go into labour like eat curries so they said anything hot and spicy like that could help so I've been eating curries. I have been eating dates now and expressing I've, I've had a go at that I'm not overly great at the moment but that's something I'm going to pursue and then obviously if you do that if you do hand express in make sure you save your milk well which is colostrum in um, a sterilized container and you can put it in the freezer and then your baby can actually have that when it's here but also bouncing around on my big ball going for walks walks with my dog anything really that can help encourage my body to think hey let's think about having a baby actually me saying that last night about half past two in the morning i woke up with pains and i thought oh this is it the curry worked and i led there and i was thinking do i wait reese up do i do i do i wait so i thought oh i'll wait i'll ride it out for a bit see how it goes and then it was just kind of not it didn't really progress into anything for like a good hour kind of it was on and off and it just reminded me of those pains that I had before those Braxton Hick pains I was getting I actually fell asleep and in my dream I woke Reese up and I said oh I think the baby's coming then we ended up at the hospital but then I woke up a few hours later and then realized that was just a dream and the pains had just subsided so that was the end of that so I'm still pregnant still very much pregnant thinking wonder when this baby's going to make an appearance it's so wiggly now as well it's like never been this wiggly it's arms and legs are everywhere at the moment feels like it's got it's like an octopus what have I been doing this week um I haven't had any appointments which has been great because I'm usually either see my midwife or going to another hospital for a scan or talking to the consultant this week absolutely nothing and it's been really nice i've taken a little bit of time off of social media off basically off of my instagram because i just needed some time to just relax and just enjoy this week of pregnancy because it's almost over and just soak up as much time as i possibly can with my children so i will be heading back onto instagram as of today so if you don't follow me on instagram come on over come and follow us roberts.supertwins 
that's my Instagram name. So what I will do is I will link that in the description if you wanted to come and check us out because we update near enough every day. Yeah, so what I have been doing is I put a lot of pressure on myself <laughs> um, the past couple of days, basically over the weekend, because I wanted to do a batch cook video and I wanted to batch cook anyway for when the baby's here just to make our lives that bit easier. So I wrote down a list of dinners I wanted to make and then some desserts I wanted to make as well. And I really did bite off more than I could chew. There's me thinking, yeah, I can complete all of this in a few hours. Oh my goodness, I couldn't be further from a couple of hours. Uh, <laughs> I managed to get a few meals done one evening and some desserts and then the next day I did some more which was yesterday and today I need to do a little bit more so I'm going to put that together in a video and hopefully you guys will click on it come and watch it and see what I made basically it's just food that I know my family really really enjoy things I'm going to want to eat as well some of the dishes were relatively easy I used to talk a lot about this moussaka that I was so obsessed with at the beginning of my pregnancy and I thought I'll make that I'll batch cook it and freeze it because everybody likes it and that took forever to do all of the meals. I have made 16 meals for the entire family. So each meal does the entire family, all six of us at the moment. So 16 family meals. Um, and one, I've done two, made two cakes, three crumbles, and I plan on making some flapjacks as well today. Um, I also know that oats are really good for breastfeeding, so that's one thing that I really want to eat. I mean, I love flapjacks anyway. So every day, if I hopefully do get to breastfeed, I'm gonna have a flapjack and a cup of tea every day. So I need to make a lot of it. I say every day for like a good few weeks, I guess. And then hopefully I'll be in some kind of state to be able to go and create some more. That video, I hope to edit it this week so you'll be able to see it either Wednesday or Friday. But that is my easy, freezy pregnancy or birth batch cooking video. So yeah, go and check that out when it's out. Yeah, I haven't really done an awful lot this week apart from feel like the baby has dropped down slightly. Um, I had the worst horrendous pain around my bump earlier today, which I haven't actually had for a while. And I only used to get it at night time. And the past week, I guess, I haven't actually had it during the night, which has been such a relief because I have had it so much through this pregnancy. I get like this pain around my bump. We used to think it was round ligament pain, but the midwife seemed to think it's something to do with my abdominal muscles now. So yeah, I had that earlier when I was playing with the kids and I was in such a state, I could hardly move. It's like a humongous stitch. There's nothing I can really do about it, apart from just wait it out and then like stretch as much as I can. I feel like I've missed something, something that I should be telling you about, but if that's the case, I'll tell you in the next video if I'm still pregnant. My 38 week pregnancy update video, I can't believe I'm gonna be 38 weeks. This is the end of my 37th week because I usually like to update the entire week of what I've done. Let's have a look. Let's see how big the baby is. Just gonna go onto the app that I have used throughout my entire pregnancy, the Baby Center app, and on here, it will show me how big and how heavy the baby is and kind of a visual of what it might look like inside. So we're looking at, do you see that? 2.9 kilos and 48.6 centimeters long. That's from its head to its toe. So I feel like the growth is not so drastic anymore like it used to be, but it is starting to really pile on the weight. It's just putting on all the fat that it needs. And that is what little baby looks like right now, all tucked up inside, maybe. I mean, my baby is head down and it has been for a long time, which is really good. It does say here that you may be experiencing more than usual Braxton Hicks, which I certainly did last night. There's me thinking, oh, baby's on its way. Everything's packed. 
thank goodness because that was a worry but I sorted that out during my 35th week I really do feel like I kind of left it to the last minute but hey it's done now baby's bed has been up for a while but it wasn't always there but it's there now it's next to my bed oh all ready to get in oh actually it's not completely ready I've got a new mattress which is still in its packaging but I'll open that up and dress it with all the stuff because I've got a mattress protector and a sheet rolled up in the snooze pod as we speak. If you're pregnant I really hope you're doing okay I mean it is no walk in the park is it <laughs> especially at the beginning and then nearer the end they both come with their own set of not difficulties but you know what I'm saying the tiredness is at the beginning and also like feeling nauseous or you might even be sick or you might be lucky enough to skip that and then you got the good bit in the middle where you feel really good and then you got this end bit where you just feel so heavy and exhausted and tired and things like Braxton Hicks happen you think am I having my baby now and you're always on high alert for everything so if you're pregnant as well, sending you a great big hug. I hope you're okay. And soon enough, you'll meet your baby or babies. So that's just my 37 weeks in a nutshell. I know I haven't really done a lot. So hopefully next week I'll have more to update you on. But I hope you really enjoyed my video. If you did, give me a great big thumbs up, please. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I would love for you to stick around and with all that said, I will see you in my next video. Take care and have a lovely week. Bye.